week eight in the NFL season begins, and it is a doozy. And uh, we've got the Packers and the Arizona Cardinals. And on Sunday, when we were all looking over the steering wheel, because we knew that the uh, Cardinals, um, despite being down five to three in their game against the uh, the Houston Texans, most likely were going to win that game and arrive uh, for Week Eight in the opener against the uh, Green Bay Packers at seven and zero. And uh, we knew the Green Bay Packers taking on the Washington Football Team in Lambeau Field had a good shot to take care of business against Taylor Heineke, and they did that. And then we figured they'll arrive at 6-1 and one versus 7-0. and oh, That'll be great. And who knew that Devontae Adams was going to pop for COVID the next day. And then on Wednesday night, uh, as we're sitting around watching the World Series and checking out uh, what's going on in the NBA, including the Los Angeles Lakers blowing a 26-point lead in Oklahoma City, uh, who knew that across our Twitter feed, we would learn that J.J. Watt played the second half of his – game against his former team, the Texans, with a shoulder injury that will require season-ending surgery, according to Adam Schefter. Mm. No date set for the surgery. Uh, our guest yesterday from the NFL Media Group, Ian Rappaport, says that, you know, uh, surgery is is coming, likely, and then rehab, you never know, with J.J. Watt. But uh, looks like it's season-ending. So no Watt against his hometown team that he grew up playing against. And no Devontae Adams, no Alan Lazard, who you figured would be put into um, Devontae Adams' spot Mm -hmm. because he's an unvaccinated um, close contact of somebody who was tested positive for COVID, didn't make the flight with the team yesterday. And that's how 7-0 versus 6-1 is set up with a backdrop for tonight. Also know this. For anybody out there thinking this is a wrap because Rodgers doesn't have Devontae Adams and so on and so forth. Here's an interesting number I received from NFL Network Research, top-notch organization. Did you know that Aaron Rodgers, in prime time since 2020, okay, since the drafting of Jordan Love, (laughs) okay, the 2020 season combined with his already two nationally televised appearances this year against the Lions at home and the 49ers, Aaron Rodgers is 8-0 in those primetime games with a touchdown-interception ratio of 26 to 1. (laughs) Is that good? He's completed 75% of his passes in those eight games, amassed 2,000 yards passing in those eight games. His passer rating is a buck buck 34 and a half. Nobody's had a better passer rating in primetime games since the beginning of last year to the current day. This is among quarterbacks with three or more primetime starts. Aaron Rodgers also, okay, but Devontae Adams is out, right? Devontae Adams, out. Devontae Adams is out. out. No, no 17 for 12? Uh, that, what's the problem? It's a, it's a big problem. Big problem. Uh, without Devontae Adams, since Matt LaFleur showed up, they played six games without Devontae Adams. Would you care to guess what the Packers' record with Aaron Rodgers quarterback? How many games game. again? Six games. They played six games. Six I'm going to guess games. they're six and oh. That's correct. He's completed 70% of his passes for 310 passing yards. His touchdown to interception ratio in that game, in those games, are 17 touchdowns one interception is that good tj confirmed i would yeah without so. Devonte adams since matt lafleur became the packers head coach and in 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 um uh and 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 that's that because he missed uh weeks five through eight in 2019 with turf toe and weeks three and four with a hamstring injury last year and now here's week eight beginning without Devonte adams so keep that in mind tonight as aaron Rodgers shows up in arizona where if you recall he played his first career playoff game Oh, remember that one? I do. It was an offensive uh, juggernaut Crazy on game. tilt against Kurt Warner and the Arizona Cardinals in overtime. And it ended on a uh, a sack fumble mm-hmm. uh, caused by Aaron Rodgers getting hit in the face mask in his first career playoff game. No flag. I proffer to say these days that would earn a flag. <laughs> and it was remember Carlos Dansby ran that one in the end I zone. Do. And that's when uh, that started the the um, Super Bowl run for the Arizona Cardinals. So get ready to see video of that tonight. Can't wait for that. 6-1 and one versus 7-0. and oh. Both teams missing significant parts. And Aaron Rodgers has a history of performing well without his significant part. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.